Hello. Today I'm going to talk about uh, do, developing your WBS or work breakout structure. WBS is probably the most important part of the uh, project plan, arguably the most important part. By creating the WBS, you determine the specific task you have to do. Uh, it provides an order for the events that have to occur. Uh, it reveals dependencies on one task for another in terms of the order that might have to occur. It helps determine the schedule later on. It helps determine the actual amount of hours that going to have to be spent on your project. And based on those two things, you finally determine a budget. But it's very important when working in the work breakout structure not to include any time factors or schedule at this time. So how do, how do you create a work breakout structure? Uh, on the screen here is uh, a breakout structure I did for a project um, where I used a mind mapping tool called Mind Manager. And that's a very um, a nice approach because it gives us a, vi a visual representation of what you're going to do. And you can move things around the page. Um, here you see the, um, here are the major milestones which are the large um, uh, bu uh, airy buttons or words here. And then next to each is the sort of the beginning of the breakout for each section. But for this project, I would like you to um, use a text-based uh, sort of outlining approach. For my example, I'm going to use Microsoft Word in the outline view. Uh, I'm going to break out creating an apple pie. Uh, my own project plan that I'd started in my wiki, um, I can't really uh, keep up with you guys because that project is sort of on hold for the moment, trying to get approval. So I haven't taken to the step of creating the work breakout yet, um, or even the milestones at that point. So in this case, I'm going to revert to something uh, very different, which is creating a pie. Here you see what constitute the, uh, the milestones. Um, the hardest part in determining and making a breakout structure is how detailed you get down in terms of breaking each milestone down into the given task you have to perform. And the reading probably addressed this to some degree, but here I'm going to show you an example. So I'm going to open this up to level two, and I've pre-populated this. Here you see my recipes. I have to select a recipe, ingredients, dough filling, assemble, bake, and serve. So I'll break this into level two, and I broke this down to another level. So in recipe selection, I have to research the sources, um, select three recipes I want to use, get some opinions and compare reviews, and finally make a selection. I could break down reaching, researching sources into further in that there's books on the internet. So let's close up the recipe selection and go to ingredients. I have to make a list, see what's in stock that I currently have in my kitchen, and purchase the remaining items. Now to give you an idea of how um, you can go overboard with this uh, that helps to define how detailed you get. To purchase remaining items, I broke this down even further. Well, I have to go to the store. Okay. What do I have to do to get to the store? And this typically is breaking down all the components of getting these remaining ingredients. I have to get in the car, turn the car on, drive to store, park, get cart, place items in cart, go to checkout, pay, drive home. Now, obviously, to all of you, it seems a bit ridiculous to put all these items in and the reason being that I can fairly easily predict to get the purchase remaining items given how far I am from the store that's going to let's say take me an hour. Now, it's really all I need to do. You want to break down the task to the minimal amount of time that you need that you want to analyze to understand for scheduling and budgeting later on. If it turned out that turning the car on was a long, drawn-out procedure because the car is broken down, I have to jump it, who knows what I have to do, get a, get a boost, perhaps you have to break that down to indicate because of the various tasks here, and you have to break that down further. But in this case, probably just going to the store is enough. One could even say purchasing remaining items is enough because it really means uh, creating a list, which I have up here, and then going to the store. We're talking about an hour. So here with the dough, measure out ingredients, mix water and flour, form balls into, and refrigerate. Um, I 
because of my experience in making pie, I know that mixing the water and flour is going to take me about a half hour, maybe less. I really don't have to give any more detail here. I don't have to say go to the sink, fill up the uh, fill up a jar, make it ice water, and so forth and so on. Same thing with the filling. Uh, assemble, roll out the pie dough. You know, if you don't have a lot of experience, you might say lay out the wax paper, dust with flour, roll out. Uh, and this actually can take a bit of time, so maybe you might want to break this out so you understand that each part of this, uh, that the rollout really takes about 15 minutes. These first two parts aren't that long, so maybe just saying rollout pie dough is enough. Moving all the way down to serve. Cut and plate for eight people, that's the task. Uh, I have to get out the dessert plates. I could break down, go to cabinet, count my plates, carry the counter. Well, that's not realistic, so I will just leave it at go to eight dessert plates. And it's not realistic because it's easy for me to estimate the time to go get the eight dessert plates. Then I have to cut eight equal slices, put in plates and so forth, and I'm done. So that's sort of a breakout structure for creating um, uh, an apple pie. And now, after this, in our next modules, we'll get into how to assigning time to these things, creating a schedule, and then seeing how all these things you've adjusted with the work breakout go back and affect the, um, uh, the requirements and even the project plan definition. And that's it on work breakout structure. Um, good luck with this. It's, it's, uh, you have to think carefully about it. Uh, if you have any questions about how detailed to get, feel free to contact me. Thanks.